Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to connect my S3 buckets using S3 gateway endpoints through private subnet EC2 instance. In the same VPC, in the same region, my bucket will be created and my bucket will be in the same AWS region and my subnet uh, EC2 instance will be also in the same region. So in this case, we are not using any NAT gateway to connect from my private subnet server to S3. So let's get back into the console and achieve this. So here I have one VPC, 172.31.0.0 slash 16 VPC, default VPC. And I have two subnets, which is public is 172.31.32 series and private is 172.31.0 series. And if you see here in the route tables, public route table is attached with the public subnet and if you see here in the routes only internet gateway is attached to my public route table and the private route table it is attached with local only there is no NAT gateway here so let's get back into the EC2 console and launch one EC2 instance my first public server to connect to a private server so I am using a public server to connect my private server. Why? Because I use like a public server as a jump server or best in host. So this is my key pair. Public subnet. Enable public IP. GP3. And I am going to attach my S3 access role to connect my EC2 instance in the AWS console to get access for the public subnet server for S3. So that's it, launch EC2 instance. So if you see here, let me still it is in pending state. Let me wait for some time to get back to the machine. So now the machine is in running state. So you can check the modify IAM role S3 access role has been attached to this public server. So if you see here in the IAM, the S3 access role is attached with the some permissions. So if you see here, this is my S3 access role and it is attached as, as Amazon S3 full access. So let's launch one more private server t2.micro is enough for me and the keeper is test keeper and I'll go for private subnet and enable disable the public IP and select my existing security group and I'll go for gp3 and attach the instance profile as S3 access role so launch EC2 instance so let's connect to my public server let's log into the public server and EC2 iPhone user So I have logged into my EC2 uh, public server. So if you see here, 172.31.41.19 series. So this is my private IP of my public server. And I need to achieve this. I have logged in from my local personal computer to using internet. And through internet gateway, I have connected to my public server. And my public server, I need to jump on to private server. And with private server, I need to fetch my S3 bucket uh, objects. So let's go back to s3 and check whether the there is any bucket or not so if you see here i have only one bucket and there is no objects inside this s3 bucket and it is created in asia pacific mumbai so make sure that you are server and your s3 bucket should be in same region while you are using gateway endpoint so i have logged into this public server
and I need to connect my private server. So for this, you need to copy your private key file into this machine. So vi test.pem. So here it is saying the test.pem. So I am using the same name. So go back to my desktop and check the test key pair. So this is my test key pair. So copy this and go back to server and paste it here. So let's change the permission of the file. So the permission has been changed and try to log into the private server with this PEM file. So it will ask for the authorization. So you need to click on S. Yes. And if you see here, 41.19 is my public server and now it has been changed to 26. This is my private server IP. So if you see here, my private server IP is 172.31.3.26. So you can match here. So I have logged into my private server. So whenever you click on AWS S3 LS, it will uh, backend it will check the either the instance has a private sub private instant NAT gateway or some other role has been attached and uh, it is going to fetch from internet gateway or NAT gateway or any S3 VPC endpoints so we haven't created any VPC endpoints so let's get back to the console and create a S3 VPC endpoint so if you see here in the endpoints there is no endpoints here so let's create an endpoint s3 s3 gateway endpoint so click on aws services and type here s3 and you can see here type is gateway and you need to choose this one and select your own vpc i'll go with the default vpc and my private server need to be connected with s3 bucket so i need to choose private route table 2 and I'll go with the full access. So whenever you create endpoint, a route table entry has been made and it will be automatically attached to your private subnet. So if you see here in the private route table, an S3 gateway endpoint is being attached automatically. So go to endpoints and check this when it is available or not. So the status has been available. So let's get back to the my private server and if you type AWS S3 LS it should fetch my S3 buckets URLs and all. So let me try to create one file. So there is no any files touch file one. You see here I have two files so I need to copy my files to here in the source bucket which is in Mumbai region so let me go back and type this slash root uh, we need to send our files from the source location to the S3 bucket so we need to give our source bucket name This is my S3 source bucket name now naming convention. So whenever I hit enter, it will copy my file one to the S3 bucket into here. So if you see here, there is no files. So AWS S3 CP, it will it will fetch our uh, files from to the from uh, server to the S3 bucket. So whenever you hit enter, it will copy your files from your uh, uh, root directory file one into the s3 bucket if so if you see here in the objects it will show me your file which you have uploaded so let me try to copy one more file which i have created so the second file has been also uploaded so if you see here my file 2 has been uploaded without any NAT gateway and without any internet gateway so if you see here in the subnets of my private subnet 
So this is my route table of private subnets. So if you see here, there is only PPC S3 gateway endpoint. So there is no NAT gateway, there is no uh, internet gateway. So without internet gateway, without NAT gateway, we can copy our files from the source server to the S3. So this is where we can use S3 gateway endpoint. So this is where you can get the S3 gateway endpoint and you can check the route tables of the S3 gateway endpoint. So if you see here, my private route table 2 and also you can manage your route table. Suppose if you have created a, unfortunately in private route table and you can also map to the private route table and also you can add attach a more one more route table to your uh, gateway endpoint and you can start browsing and uploading the files from your private server to directly to the S3 without any NAT gateway or internet gateway. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you have any queries, please post in the comment box.